Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to model the trash can. Uh, usually you want to have some type of reference image that you can follow. In this case, I'm going to be using a few images here. I'm not going to be following their uh, the images uh, specifically. I'm just going to use them as somewhat of a reference, but I'm not going to exactly be exactly following one in particular. Uh, so I have a few here. I'm going to be you can just Google for trash can images or just to make it easier for you, I'm also going to let you download this from my website. But again, they don't really belong to me, I just found these from Google. So let's go ahead and start. Um, first thing we have to do when you model something in Maya, is make sure you come here on the, the drop down menu for your tool set. Uh, make sure it's set to polygons and not animation, okay? Uh, that's going to change all the menus up here so that they uh, follow more for the more appropriate for modeling. Next, uh, for a trash can like this, we want to use a... we want to start with a primitive that resembles the shape, which in this case is obviously a cylinder, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's go to create and make sure you go on the polygon primitives, uh, don't choose the nerves, choose the polygons. I like to keep interactive creation disabled. Um, let's go ahead. A cylinder. Just click on that. And as you can see, Maya is going to drop our object right here, which is really tiny if we're far away. I'm just gonna scale that. I'll press R to scale that. Make sure you have it selected, of course. I'm also going to press 5 so I can see the uh, I'm also going to press 5 so I can see the shaded mode and I'm going to press R so I can scale this guy up okay it should be fine and uh, if your cylinder is different from mine as far as the uh, divisions that it has I want you to open the channel box which is going to be right here on the right uh, if you don't have it let me close it so that I don't have it. So if you don't have it, uh, the easiest way is if you just press Ctrl A, it's going to open first. It's going to open the attribute editor. Uh, if you press Ctrl A again, uh, it's going to show you the channel box. Okay. So you want to make sure that your history is enabled. Uh, your history icon is right here. So this little guy. Make sure that's enabled. It's going to show our history right here on the right on the channel box. So click on the uh, poly cylinder one. Uh, sometimes I'm using Maya 14, 2014. You're using an, uh, another version, may be under the different name, or you may not even have to click on something. It's just going to show these options. So the thing that you have to look for here, uh, the most important thing, so that yours matches mine, you just make sure the subdivision axis is set to 20. So just set that to 20 right here. Okay, everything else just leave it as is. Okay. So that's it. So now, uh, again, make sure you are under the uh, scale tool, which in this case I pressed R. Also, if you want to access those tools, they're right here for the move, uh, scale, and uh, I mean, rotate and scale. So I'm going to use the green handle so that I can make this a little so that it matches more like uh, one of these trash cans here. Okay. Let me move this up. And again, I'm just going to be uh, following just roughly. I'm not going to be exactly copying the images. Okay, so I'm going to leave it this way. Uh, next, uh, for the lid, I'm going to duplicate the object that I already have here. So, what I'm going to do is press Ctrl D. Ctrl D to duplicate. And as you can see, I can now move. Make sure you press W so you can move this up. Another way to duplicate is of course by going to menus uh, which is right here duplicate and just move this guy up. We to press R use the green one to make the lid okay I'm going to uh, leave that one as is for now I just want to make sure I got this guy going so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down right click sorry I didn't say anything about that uh, to select the object drag over it 
uh, to select faces, edges, or ver ver a vertex. Um, to select a vertex, uh, just hold down right click and this menu is going to appear. And let's go to edges. Double click this guy. Oops, actually, I want to have faces, select, not edges. So, faces, and I, I like to use the drag selection. Uh, just so that I can hold down the uh, left mouse click and just drag, select my faces. Uh, this time I'm using the marquee select, which as you can see, if I drag, it's going to select that, but at the same time it's going to uh, be selecting faces that I don't really want selected. So if you want to use the, more, uh, the drag selection, like I'm going to hold down Q, and then uh, your left mouse click, make sure you hold down Q, and left mouse click, and then drag right here on the select and just deselect the marquee selection and that's going to switch our selection to type to um, to the drag selection so now I can just drag and it's not going to select the faces that I don't want okay then I'm going to press R scale this guy just a little bit As you can see, trash cans kind of have like an angle, just a little bit, not too much. Okay. Let me get this a little right here. Okay. Okay. And that looks fine for me. Again, I'm just making a generic looking trash can here and I'm going to press R on my top uh, mesh uh, here object I'm going to scale that move this guy down okay I'll probably select the top faces for this guy and I'm going to scale this just a little bit, like that. And finally I'm going to, whoops, why is this different? Okay, make sure this is polygons. I'm going to edit mesh and I'm going to extrude. And after doing that, you're going to see this uh, manipulator here. But I'm, going, I'm just going to press R and scale this guy down just a bit. And that guy up. select these edges to select the whole edge loop I just double click on one edge okay okay there we have it and if you see uh, as you can see here uh, you can kind of see the faces in this like a hard edge here I don't really want that uh, to fix that all you what you can do is if you go to the normal uh, menu here and go to set normal angle and set it to something like 60 apply and now as you can see that it's, that area is now smooth and but we, we still keep the uh, hard edges for the for where the hard edges should be okay so this is what would be our low poly uh, model here so basically this would be the uh, uh, the version we will be using for like something like a game, a uh, first person type of game. But now we want to create a, a high poly that we are going to transfer the high details of that model to this one. 